I've <laughs> I've got <laughs> goddamn trees. <laughs> Hi everybody! Hello! I'm Matt. I'm Chase. And this is our weekly vlog. Woo! And there's a crow interrupting us. So this has been one crazy week. That's a... Understatement? Understatement. Uh, yeah. But yeah, so this, uh, this video series is about, you know, our struggles and successes in YouTube. And Twitch. And you know, everything that those two uh, connect with. So Chris, uh, what did you have troubles with this week? What were your main issues and things that brought you down? Uh, too many to list, but I'll um, try. Yeah. So I think my biggest struggle for this week was actually kind of more of a concentration and procrastination issue. Cyber Monday went by. Some great deals. I hope you guys got something good. Disney Plus had a deal where you could get Disney Plus for $5 a month. And there's also Viveport Infinity, which was a pretty good deal. Uh, if you don't know what that is, it's pretty much the Netflix of VR gaming. Mm. So you kind of get like a subscription and can play all these VR games that are in their list. So both of those great deals. And um, I was going to get them 100% procrastinated. And it was... Uh, after midnight on Monday that I remembered, oh, I forgot to get these. Let me get them real quick. It's after midnight. They're done. Mm. So yeah, uh, that's just something in my life going forward. I, I really need to focus on when something needs to be done, do it in the moment, especially if I'm not doing anything. Other than that, uh, I'm waiting on Link Cable to come in so I can play PC VR games on the Oculus and hopefully be able to stream those and maybe make review videos and whatnot. And then, last big issue uh, that I've had this week um, is that while trying to look at developing VR game idea that we had, I, I think I took on a bit more than I could chew. When I first started looking at uh, making the game, I was like, oh, this all makes sense. Uh, coding doesn't seem like too big of an issue at all. It's everything, all the ideas are clicking right in my head. And then I actually took a like look into coding and realized I don't know what any of the jargon means. It's a science. But what I think I'm gonna do is put the development on hold so I can actually do like a beginner's course and get introduced properly uh, to video game coding. <laughs> so Matt, what have your struggles been this past week? The major struggle that I went through this week, uh, I lost a friend to mental illness, and this was a guy that I'd worked with closely for five years at Universal, um, and I guess it's just, just this time of year, uh, we had another friend take their life last year at the same time. And it's never easy. Uh, so I found out while I was streaming, and I had to end the stream because I, it was like I got sucker punched in the gut. And just kind of coping with that loss was really difficult while trying to maintain the momentum that we had going into the week. I did have a major breakthrough this week on, I reached out to one of my streamer friends who was caught up to me in the two months that he's been streaming and I just asked him what he was doing, like how he has been so successful. He suggested to me what he's been doing is he has found his game that he plays, which is Final Fantasy XIV. I can't copy that, but I have been a huge Elder Scrolls fan for as long as I can remember. And there just so happens to be a little game called Elder Scrolls Online that I can put as my main game and I'm super excited. I just started playing it and I'm super excited to start streaming it. And he basically said what he did was he goes and watches other streamers, jumps into the chat, hangs out with them, joins their communities, and then his their communities get to know him. Those streamers raid him while he's streaming and he gets he like he's just they're just growing their communities together. So I've been sitting there sit like planning to just get on and play video games and people will find me. It'll be, that's how it will grow and it'll be organic and blah, blah, blah. But I haven't been doing the legwork to get out there and have people know who I am. Going forward, I'm going to dedicate at least an hour to a day 
to finding new communities and interacting in the communities that I'm already a part of. And the last success that I've had, major success, is that our Discord is up and running. It's trucking along. We're getting, we're growing a community. It's active. We've gotten some advice for giveaways. Uh, we're gonna, I'm looking to giving away enamel pins on our streams. I just subscribed this morning to the VIP Humble Bundle Deluxe subscription where I'll get nine new games a month. And I can use those game keys as giveaways. And just using these as tools to draw people in to our streams and entice people to come and see them and hang out for a while. Because the longer you watch, the more opportunities you have to win something, and it's really awesome. And I'm kind of finally grasping that. Join the Discord if you have Discord. If you don't have Discord, look into it. It's great. It's like Reddit, but people are friendly. So, yeah, those are my successes. How about you, Chase? How are you? What, what are you happy about this week? So, a, struggle, a little struggle that I've had uh, since we colored our hair was that I didn't know if I was going to be able to get auditions anymore mm. um, or like even if it looked good on me. But uh, I got an audition uh, when we filmed last week's video and then uh, I got a callback. Like immediately that night was like, hey, you have a callback for that commercial. And it was the first audition that I had with colored hair. And I went into the callback uh, and I made everyone in the room laugh a couple times. So that like really boosted my confidence. Uh, not just in like my look, but also my ability to be entertaining. Yeah. Which that's something like I feel like streaming, I'm not entertaining. So that just that kind of helped. <laughs> and then another big uh, success this week was the Throwback Thursday uh, stream, where I got to play Super Mario World. It was really great. Um, I mean, I didn't really get to interact too much because uh, I was more focused on the game and I actually beat the game which yeah. I did not expect to uh, quickly too because we were uh, only like an hour into the stream when you beat it yeah. though I have not yet beat Star Road oh yeah because that shit's hard have you seen any vlogs where people film in abandoned parks like desolate parks because this kind of feels creepy like a little pedophile in um, I think pedophilia is always a weird way. Well, yeah, but I don't mean like we're looking to find kids to take home and abduct. I mean, we're filming a vlog, but... Yeah. Well, I mean, you got empty park on one side and then um, a cemetery on the other. We thought this would be the quietest place to film, but now it's just creepy. <laughs> okay. Another murder of crows. Cool. Alright, so, photo shoot. Alright, so another little triumph for the week, or a little success of the week, is that uh, we were able to get our roommate and friend Dalton, who is a phenomenal photographer. You should check out uh, his Instagram portfolio, link it below. Um, but yeah, so today I have a scheduled shoot with him to do some, uh, some Matt and Chase photos. And so that's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, but besides that, uh, I think usually when stuff gets heavy, I kind of shut down and I felt like I was able to be there for Matt to uh, support him during this tough week after losing a friend and, um, being, uh, at low numbers and losing confidence with the stream. Yeah. So. You did. When I was low come up and give me a hug and that really helps a lot um, just knowing that you're there with me um, just means a lot i think it brought us closer together also as tragedy usually does so yay we're together and happy another success Nice. You done? You're not even scratching your back because you're wearing a jacket, buddy. You're lucky you're cute. So the start of Wednesday's stream, uh, we had our two MVP show up, and though the views were small, the interaction was awesome. And we ended up uh, ending the stream with golf with your friends, with your brother, and them, and that was a lot of fun. But I really got to know Satu and Alex a lot better, I feel. And the interactions were genuine and raw, 
Uh, I, they knew I was coping with the loss and they opened up to me about some of the stuff they're struggling with. And it really made me think about how strong it could be to have a community where people are there for each other and can get together and play games together and just have fun and try and forget the crap that's going on in their lives. You know, even even for just a few hours, it would be, it's awesome. But yeah, that was a great, I think that was a success. Uh, I feel closer to Alex, I feel closer to Satu. Several of the other community members were there for me and I will forever be there for them in return. Um, and it's just growing stronger, so that's good. That's part of that growth we were talking about. Hey, so uh, our camera died while walking, so it's actually a silver lining. We did want to make a special ending to this video anyways, because we did have a friend who passed away recently uh, due to suicide and another friend who struggles with those type of thoughts. So we just wanted to let you guys know if you are struggling through anything, please check out the resources below. Reach out to us, reach out to your friends and family because you don't want one quickly made decision to be the last decision you make. There are people who love you and will miss you. So just reach out to anyone before you make any decisions, okay? And just know that we care for you.